This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more techniques. Okay, this is um, puzzle number two, an easy puzzle. Uh, volume 101 has come out now, so I've uh, um, got a copy of it. Um, this is volume 101 of Sudoku to Go by Soap Opera Digest. And uh, puzzle number two. This is an easy puzzle, and so we're going to use a few easy techniques to uh, solve this puzzle. Um, <clears throat> uh, first of all, I'm going to probably just look at uh, rows and columns and see rows and columns that are uh, pretty much filled in, like this one right here. It only needs three numbers only three cells in this column here are missing or empty here we've only got three cells empty here and down here so let's look at those first okay we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine four five and eight okay so this can be a 4, 5, or 8, and there's a 4 here, so that's a 5 or an 8. Here is a 5 and an 8, so that is a 4. Okay, what's left? 5 and 8 is left. Okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> can't see a 5 or an 8 in this square or in this column, so we can't, um, we don't know which one of these is a 5 and which one's an 8 right now. When you're doing this, what you do, if, if you're trying to find numbers in this row, you look in the column where the empty cell is and in the square that the row belongs to. Okay. Um, or the, the square that the cell belongs to, I should say. Okay, so, um, so we found one number. Um, since we found one in this column, let's look at this column now. We're missing a 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 and 3. So if we see a 1 or a 3 anywhere here, okay, in this square, and again, let's look at this. We're looking at this column, so we look at this row and this square for this cell to see if uh, any of those two numbers is there. There's a 3 there, so this is a 1, and there's a 1 here in this row, so we know that's a 3. Okay, let's look at um, this row, this column right here. We're missing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 4, and 6. Here's a 1, there's a 6 also. But let me show you a little trick here. Since there's a 1 in this square, we know that neither one of these two numbers can be 1. So we know that's a 1. Okay, and we also know there's a 1 and a 6 here, so this is a 4. After we fill that 4 in, what's left? A 1 and a 6. We found the 1, so we know the 6 is here by deduction. Okay. Let's look at this row right here. We just filled in one of the numbers. There's only two, uh, two cells left. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Two and seven are missing. There's a two, so this is a seven. And there's a two here. Only one left. Let's look at this column right here. There's only three empty cells here and also over here. You notice that these these uh, puzzles are always symmetrical. Um, you've got uh, the same the same cells filled in in this half as you do in this half. Okay. All right, except for there, one side is upside down. Like this this cell is filled in, this one isn't. But uh, if you flip this side over, then this cell and this cell have numbers in them, and this cell and this cell. You see. So, okay, let's let's look at this column right here. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So one, two, and eight. There's a one. So that's going to be a two or an eight. There's no two here. There's no two here. Let's look here. Or I'm sorry, I should say there's no two or eight in here, and there's no two or eight in here. Let's look here. We look need one, two, or eight. There's an eight, so that's a one or a two. Hmm. Okay, this one here, we need a one, two, or eight. There's a two, but not a one or an eight. Now, it's kind of interesting. There's a one, and we're missing one, two, and eight here. There's a one here, an eight here, and a two here. So just, it, and only one number related to each of these empty cells. We need two of those numbers in order to fill them in. Let's try this side over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's a six. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, and seven are missing there. So there's a seven, so that's a four or a five. There's no four, five, or seven here. There's a seven, so that's a four or a five. Oh, and there's a four, so um, so we're, this is a five because we need four, five, and seven, and there's four and seven. Now, if this four were empty, if this cell were empty, we we would know one thing, and I'll show you another trick. This can't be a seven, and this can't be a seven, so we know that's a seven. So we know this is a five, and we also know that this is a seven because of what I just told you, so we'll fill in the, I almost put a four there, I'm sorry, a seven there. I was thinking four when I wrote it. Okay, and then this side, this one is a four. Okay, let's see. Now let's go back in here, I don't know, let's see, what was it, one, two, and eight. So, we didn't fill anything in that will help us find those numbers yet. Let's look at this one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and eight are missing here. We still can't do that one. All right. Let's try some of these um, rows and columns that, that have five numbers, that have four empty cells, like this one right here. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Five, six, seven, and nine. So I don't see any of those numbers here, and I don't see any of those numbers here. Here's a seven, so that's a five, six, or nine. Here's a six and seven, so that's a five or a nine. Here's a seven and nine, and there's a five. So I think that's a six right there. Five, six, seven, nine. Okay. Now what's left in this row? Five, seven, and nine. So we know this is a five or a nine. So the seven's got to be over here because the seven, there's a seven here and there's a seven there. So we know that's a seven. Okay. What do we have left? We got five and nine left, and we I don't think we can solve those right now. All right, let's look at this row right here with five numbers. There's four empty cells. One, three, six, nine. One, three, six, nine. Okay, there's a three, so that's a one, six, or a nine. Oh, look, here's a one, six, and nine, so that's a three. Okay, so what do we have left? One, six, and nine. Here's a six, so that's a one or a nine, and that's a one or a nine. Since the six is in this square, we know that six can't fit in either of those because we already got a six there. So we know this is a six. And we know these are one and nine, and there's a one there. So nine, one. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at this right here, this column. And there's something interesting here. This is a little bit more advanced technique, but we have five and nine twins right here. Um, so we can count those as numbers we know, even though we can't solve them yet. 
we don't know where the five goes and where the nine goes, but we know five and nine have to fit in these two cells. So that means we can count those, and there's, if we look at it that way, there's only three empty cells that we don't know numbers for. So let's try that. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, and seven are missing because five and nine are already accounted for here. Here's a two, so this is going to be a four or a seven, and there's this is going to be a four or a seven, and so the two goes here. Okay, and there's a seven right there, so we know that's a four, and that's a seven. Okay, we're making good progress. Let's try, let's look over here. Now, um, in this row right here, we're missing five numbers or five empty cells, but right here we've only got two in this square. Um, we, I talked about solving for rows and columns, but we can also solve for squares because rows, columns, and squares are the three things that have all numbers one through nine in them. And what's missing here? One and a nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and nine, and there's a one, so we know that's a nine. And that's a one. Okay. Uh, let's let's look at this right now. And this, um, we can look at this as a square or a row. And just so you can so you can see this, um, you notice that. All the numbers here in this row are already in this square because these three cells, the only three empty cells in this row and in this square, are in both containers or both places. Um, so we've got a, one, a 519, 519, 627, 627. You see, it's kind of an interesting way of looking at it. So what are we missing here? We're missing one. 3, 4, 8, 3, 4, and 8 are missing down here. There's a 3 and a 4, so we know this is an 8. And what's left here? 3 and 4. Okay, and we can't solve those right now. Okay, we're making pretty good progress here. Uh, now that we've solved this 8, if you remember, um, here we we're missing 1, 2, and 8. We only had a 2 here. We've got a 1 now. That would have also helped us find this 8. But we only had a 2 here, we had an 8 here, and we had a 1 here. So we couldn't solve these three empty cells in this column. But now that we've filled in this 8 here, all, we've, all we're missing is 1 and 2. So we know this is a 2, because there's a 1 there. And this is a 1. All right, let's look at this row right here. I'm, I'm just looking for rows and columns that are only missing a few numbers. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Four, six, and eight are missing. Okay, there's a six, so that's a four or an eight. I don't see anything here. There's no four, six, or eight here. There's no four, six, or eight here. So that's four, six, eight. And what do we have here? We have six, so that's a four or an eight. Okay, again, um, since this is a four or an eight, and this is a four or an eight, that has to be a six. Or another way to look at it is there's already a six in this column and already a six in this column, so the six has to be there. I don't think we can solve the 4 or 8 right now. Let's look at this column right here. And by the way, you can actually um, you can actually s try and solve for rows and columns and squares even if there's only two or three numbers in them. But that's a lot harder to keep track of. If you, if you only have three numbers, that means you've got six numbers you have to keep track of. In this row right here, we have five numbers that we'd have to keep track of. So that might be a little bit harder, but you can do it. So let's see. Well, let's look at this row right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Five and nine. 
Okay, and there's a 5 and 9 here too that are missing. There's a 9, so we know that's a 5, and that's a 9, and we can fill this 5 in now too. Okay, making good progress. Let's look at this row right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that was our five and eight. And there's a five there now, so we know that's an eight. And that's a five. Okay, we have three fours here, but we don't know. We can't solve those yet. wonder what these two numbers are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 3 and 8. And you know what? We can't, there's no 3s or 8s here, so we still can't solve those. Let's look at these two numbers here. 1, 2, th Oop, I'm sorry. I almost started looking at this row. We could look, we could solve for this row, but then we'd have to have four numbers that we're looking for. Let's look at this square right here, and we only have to solve for two numbers. 6, seven, eight, 9, 6 and 9, and there's a 9 there, so that's a 9 and that's a 6. Okay, <clears throat> now we've only got two cells empty here, only two numbers missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2 and 3. There's a 3, so that's a 2 and that's a 3. Alright, let's look at this um, column right here, or it's easier to look at this square because the numbers are closer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 5, and 8. There's a 4 and a 5, so that's an 8. Okay. Here's a 5, so we know that's a 4, and that's a 5. Okay. Well, we're making good progress, I think. Okay, let's look at this row right here. One, two, four. Two and four are missing. There's a two, so that's a four, and that's a two. And if you remember, these are three and four. We couldn't solve them. There's a four there now, and there's a three and eight up here, so we can solve all those now. There's a four here, so we know that's a three. Four. And this was 3, 8, so there's a 3 there, so we know that's an 8, and that's a 3. Okay, we've only got two numbers left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And there's a 9, so we know that's an 8, and then therefore that's a 9. Okay. Well, we um, solved an entire easy puzzle by... Uh, solving for rows, columns, and squares. Looking for rows and columns that only have a few numbers missing and then looking for squares that only have a few numbers missing. So that's a little bit more um, basic technique to, to finding numbers. You can use those techniques in even more difficult puzzles all the way up to diabolical, but uh, um, <clears throat> they work pretty well. They're pretty easy to to do and they work pretty well for easy puzzles. Thanks for watching and watch for watch next for uh, solving a medium puzzle from this volume.